write a program to check if the given number is a prime number. To solve this, the first thing you need to know is what's a prime number. So a number which has factors 1 and itself is called a prime number. Something like if we take 7, the factors for 7 are 1 and 7. These are the only two factors. Now because it has only two factors, that is 1 and itself, 7 is a prime number. Let's take one more, uh, probably 24. If I write the factors, we have 1, then what about 2? Yes, 2 can divide 24. How about 3? Yes, 4, yes, 5. 5 cannot divide the 24, so 5 is not a factor. Then 6, yes, 8, yes, 12, yes, then 24. So these are the factors for 24. Now, if you look at the factors for any number, there are two numbers always constant. One is the number 1, the other one is the number itself. Now, other than these two, if anything else is there, then it is not a prime number. So, the logic to identify prime number is basically, if we can check whether the number is divisible by any other number other than 1 and 24, if yes, then it becomes a non-prime number or a composite number, else it's a prime number. So, if we have to implement a logic, it could be something like this. I pick up this number, let's say 24, I just keep on dividing from 1 till 24, then if at all other than 1 and 24, if any other number divides 24, then I can say it's a composite number. So basically we need to write a loop equation. So loop has to be there. So when I try to loop and try to check for the divisibility, I need not start from 1, rather I'll start from 2. I can start over here. And if you closely observe, the last number other than 24 is always half of the number. So I can go till n by 2. 2 to n by 2 could be the looping condition. Now inside the loop, the logic if and the condition is if the given number n, if it is divisible by any of these numbers, let's say if I take this as looping condition as i, if any of the numbers is divisible. So for that what I'll do is I'll use the modulus operator. If the modulus operator gives 0, that means this particular number is divisible by i. In such situation, I can say it has a factor other than 1 and 24. Whenever it has a factor, it's not a prime number. So this particular logic we'll be using to find the prime numbers. Now let's write the pseudocode for the prime numbers. Step 1 is to check for the factor. For this, we'll be using a loop condition. So for, I'll take a counter variable i starting from 2 uh, till it goes on to half of the given number. I will keep on incrementing it. So this will be the loop. In the loop, I keep on checking for a condition. The condition is the given number modulus the counter that is i. If at all, if this becomes 0, that means it is divisible, then I will set a flag to 1. So initially the a flag will be 0. Now if it is divisible, we will put the flag as 1. So once the loop will go on and it exits, we go for the step 2. Step 2 is check for the flag. So the condition is if uh, one very important thing, here we have taken i as 2. So sometimes the user might give n as 1. If n is 1, we are going to print it as neither prime nor composite else if other than one if it is any other number we will check for the flag if the flag equals one it means that it is not a prime number therefore we will print it as composite else we are going to print it as prime now let us write the code for checking if a number is a prime number so I have taken the template from the last program. So the standard form, the inclusions, library inclusions, and the main function. We have an integer number, and we are asking the 
user to enter an integer and we are just storing that integer in the number all right now let's write the logic for prime number check if prime number so for this we'll be using the for loop for i equals 2 okay because you're using i we also need to declare it let it be i over here then i less than n by 2 i plus plus now in the loop we'll go with the if condition if the number modulus uh, i if double equals zero then we need to set a flag to one so again we need one more variable flag uh, let the flag status be initially zero all right i think that's it uh, if the number double equals one let me scroll the page If the number is one, we're gonna print the number is neither prime nor composite. Else, if we're gonna check for the flag, if the flag is one, we know that the number is composite. Else, The number is prime. Let me also use this new lines. One more thing, what we can do is, uh, whenever the flag becomes one, it means that it's a composite number. So you don't need to go for the complete duration. We can just break at that point. All right, let's compile this. GCC. The file name is two check prime dot c minus o we are putting into output folder let's give the name as two oh there is an error yeah it is not n actually it is number okay let's compile it again all right it works now let's see listing it out ps2 is there so the output code is dot slash two enter an integer five five is the prime okay, let's try one more 10 is a composite yes one more time let's try it as one uh, it's neither prime nor composite absolutely working okay.